Hello everybody, it's Cindy here from rainy, cool, middle of May, latter middle of May, and it's raining and it's cool and I even had the heater on back in my bedroom last night. It's that bad. I have a little backup heater back there because normally we heat with wood and our bedroom tends to get a little cooler so I have a backup heater and then if it's real cold we just put on the, the central heat or if it's hot out we put on the air. We're not totally without. Anyway, I had ordered two wigs from Vogue Wigs last week when they had them on sale. Um, they had oh, a few Amore styles, a few uh, Noriko styles, and I couldn't tell you what else, that were $50 each. And uh, so I read up on a couple of the Amore and decided there was two I wanted to get, but I got them just alike. Okay, because I had a feeling that I was going to like it, and I thought, you know, if they're actually discontinuing this, maybe it's smart to go ahead and get an extra, which I did. So, on with my wig grip. It will probably be the first week in June. Uh, things are going to be very, very quiet around here for one week this summer. And that may be the time that I try to get around to making a video of how I make. Because you can see how wide this one is. It's really, and it's even tucked under a bit. It's much wider for my monofilaments. Um, like I said, it'll probably be that time when the house is really, really quiet. Nobody's going to be around. Maybe I can concentrate and do it. So the two wigs I got were Victoria, and I got them in iced mocha. And I did wear this one yesterday. I'm not going to tell you it's straight out of the box. There's no, no, no scissors involved. In it. But what I did do is I kind of set my part you know, with water so that it would stay parted. And it was worn for several hours yesterday. So that means it's had a little break in, and I put a little tiny bit of dry shampoo on it before I wore it yesterday because it was pretty um, shiny. Okay, I'm going to put it on. Adjust it. And let y'all see. I uh, really like it. I like the length of it. And, of course, I love the monofilament part. I had to put a tiny bit of, uh, here, of uh, wig spray on it yesterday to get that part to sit in because I didn't want it down in my eyes all day at the things at school for the grandkids. So... There is what that looks like. This is the Victoria Iced Mocha, and I will do the turnaround. And you know, is it me, or I always carry my purse on my left shoulder. And do y'all ever think it gets a hold of your wig and kind of pulls the hairs out or something? I don't know. Um, I try to be careful, but it's just so easy, especially one like this that kind of flips out to get that shoulder strap on my wig. Now, as far as the flipping out, I did buy two of them, identical. So, let's get the other one out and I'll show you the construction. Um, I thought about maybe steaming it to get it to hang more straight. When I was in junior high, I wore my hair in a flip. And for all of you that are old enough, <laughs> That's when the show That Girl was so popular, and um, my hair was a dark, rural dark brown like hers, and I had the brown eyes and all that, so pe people kind of associated me with that at that time in my life, and I did smile a lot too, but um, haven't worn a, a flip 
in a long time. And as I got older, even when I had hair and I wore toppers, my hair just kind of naturally tended to go under. I didn't have to do anything to it. Maybe a good stylist cut it. I don't know. Anyway, this is the construction. You have your double monofilament top. You have your vinyl band across the top, a front that you can use tape on. Um, I don't use tape, but you can use glue or tape or whatever you need there. It does give a little resistance even just on the skin. Closed ear tabs. I don't wear my glasses in my ear tabs anyway because it makes them set real odd. So <laughs> I, don't. I wish I had contacts, but I don't. And with the eye disease I have, I can't wear them. So. Anyway, uh, it has open wefted back and bungee strap adjustments. Typical Amore wig. Turn that inside out, put her back in the box. I did take her out of the box, she did do the exact same thing on the video. Okay, um, here is the front, here is the left. There is the back, there is the right, and I'm so sorry there's my face again. Anyway, I will probably not allow comments on this, or I will allow comments that I have to approve, and, and I don't really understand how that works, but there still is quite a bit of ugliness going on uh, in YouTube. and. Uh, People that are making real ugly videos and cartoons and all that about we women that just want to share what we think of wigs in case a, a friend, uh, a video friend, is also shopping for themselves or a loved one that may be needing a wig from just hair loss or uh, like chemo or medication that causes hair loss, alopecia, you know, there's a whole realm of reasons people wear wigs. Me, it's because I have gotten so hair impaired on top. But, um, you know, th these people make these really ugly videos. They doubt people's needs for these and what have you. And rather than get in that drama, because I am here for one thing. I am here to help other women and men who need a wig for whatever reason, or want a wig, for whatever reason, to say, this is what I bought, this is what it looks like, it's not been professionally styled, I'm not a model, I'm not 22 years old, I'm an old woman with a fat face, <laughs> and hair loss. So, th that helps other people look at my videos, and I look at their videos, and that helps us when we choose wigs, especially online, because it's so much cheaper to buy them online. Anyway, uh, that's all I had to say about that. Now, some of y'all are going to say, well, Cindy, you were wearing gray wigs. I still wear gray wigs. My problem is, I will never, ever start coloring my hair again. That's over. I thought... I would wake up one day, go get my hair cut off after a year and a half of growing it out, and it would be silver like my mom's was or whatever. Okay, wasn't. It's gray on the front, still dark in the back, um, very pretty. The problem with that is I have to have a topper if I wear my hair. And I see all these beautiful women with all this long, beautiful hair or this beautiful pixie cups or whatever that's gray, nothing that would please me more than anything in the world, just to say, I want a pixie cut, my hair's gray now, but since I have to have wigs if I want to cover the bald spot, or I have to have toppers, that has been a real issue. I cannot get a topper that matches my hair. So, that's just the way it is. I did go to that little uh, class type reunion thing. I wore my sandy silver wig. Nobody looked at me and goes, oh man, you're gray now. You know that 
I have my sky wig, which I'm on my second sandy silver one, and when it's worn out, I will buy another one. However, at that little reunion, there was a couple of us that had decided to go gray. Everybody else was either bleaching their hair because it had gone gray, or they were still coloring. I can tell you, it ate the gray hair, although I think I look great in gray hair. I'm comfortable in gray hair. It ages you. Do I care that I look older? Not really, but when I put on a wig that is brown, or uh, I feel younger. I feel more vibrant. I feel more alive. So for me, I'm keeping my gray hair. No more chemicals on my hair. But since I also have to have gray wig or have to have wigs, I'm not just going to wear gray, and I'm still going to have a good time with all different colors kind of dropped off the blonde for a while. Anyway, have gotten rid of lots of wigs, have sold a bunch. Uh, a good place if you don't have an outreach or the American Cancer Association to donate it. Let's say you buy a wig and it's really good but you just don't like it. They will prepare those to give to cancer patients. Another thing is consider your local high school or college drama department. That's less money, and of course, I don't know how it is all across the United States, but in, Mon in Oklahoma, we are in a major deficit. They have moved our school days to four days a week. They canceled all um, outings of any kind, no field trips, no nothing. Um, they are cutting back. The grade school needed a new speaker system. I mean, it was so awful they couldn't even do a program. And they had to have a fundraiser to try to get the funds. And hopefully a lot of grandparents like myself put $100 extra in the kitty. Because our school system here is in a major mess. And I'm not going to get into the whole political thing of it because that doesn't matter. It's our kids that are suffering. So any way you can help reduce something from the budget in a school or a college, uh, they're, oh, they're laying off people at colleges here, raising tuition, it's just a mess. Do what you can to help support your local school system. And I had one other thing I wanted to talk about. Y'all feel free to get, you know, to shut me off anytime you want. I do, I do want to say before I go any further, I'm all over the place, but I am so thankful and honored by all the people that have been subbing to me. And I don't like to say subbed. I like to say like new video friends. That's kind of how I, I don't, uh, yeah, my, my video peeps, <laughs> my extended community. <laughs> but, uh, I, and then the people that have gone on this rocky journey with me from the very first before my eye surgeries, uh, when I first started with toppers, when I, at the first I was very depressed about the wig wearing, I had worn falls and hair pieces and wigs in the 70s even, but it had been a long time and things had changed to the positive. So, thank y'all, thank y'all for staying with me, and now I'm going to do one more thing and then I promise to shut up. <laughs> I have an unsung hero, and I don't know if I get close if you can see that. I don't know if my camera is even shut off. I'm thinking it has. This is the flower eye brush. And because it is beveled on the edges, domed on top, more square on the end, this brush is so wonderful for so many different applications of eyeshadow. They are at Walmart. I think they're about eight, nine dollars, and I have two of them. They're dirty right now. I use them each and every day. Have all those other thirty or forty brushes in front of me, and I grab these. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend. Be good. Enjoy the spring, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.